Lyric Opera Virginia director Joseph Walsh introduced their Broadway and Beyond program October 20th, saying that these days young opera singers are expected to have the versatility to cross over into other genres. The amazing Kira Takanawa started out singing in pop clubs in New Zealand. Selections ranged from opera to Broadway to film, sung by Christina Nassif, soprano, and baritones Jonathan Estabrooks and Eric Green. This was the third program in the series. The two earlier programs had featured the creamy voice of Andy Marie Moore, whom I was sorry to have missed, but Eric Green more than made up for it. Of the three singers, Green was the most comfortable in all genres, vocally and physically. In his initial appearance as Escamillo singing the Toreador from Carmen, he strode onto the stage, already in character, commanding the audience's attention from the get-go, and was rewarded with cheers. In the Broadway segment, he sang A Woman is a Sometime Thing, Jake's lullaby from Porgy and Bess, with great gusto and humor. He changed gears easily for somewhere, Tony's touching anthem of hope from West Side Story, investing it with believable pathos and easy, heart-rending high notes. Two spirituals, A City Called Heaven and Witness, provided another change of pace, as did his impassioned singing of the beautiful baritone aria from Wagner's Tannhäuser. Green's ornamentation in various genres is not for the sake of ornamentation itself, but to further the path of the music. It's all part of the package, along with his superb diction and excellent breath control. He's done many roles with Virginia Opera, including Escamillo in 2006, and his experience is apparent in his commanding stage presence. Green joined forces with Christina Nassif for Rossini's Cat Duet, which rings the changes on meow. They had fun with it, and at one point, Joseph Walsh at the piano woofed at them. It was hilarious. Radiant in a dark teal gown, Nassif sang Voilo Sapete Santuzza's aria from Cavalleria Rusticana, plumbing its dark mezzo depths with ease. In the Broadway segment, she sang I Could Have Danced All Night for My Fair Lady and Victor Herbert's very funny prima donna song, Art is Calling for Me. But the wobbly chin that accompanied high open vowels was a distraction. An extraordinary choir director told me once, anything that is not under the singer's control is a vocal fault, and so it was here. Manuel Ponce's Mexican ballad Estrellita was better sung, if over-emoted. Even better were Lover Come Back to Me and Autumn Leaves, the latter sung first in French than in English. Operatic vibrato tends to blur lyrics that must be comprehensible. A straighter tone would have served this music better. Baritone Jonathan Estabrooks has a robust and forthright style. He began the program with a floridly dramatic aria from Hamlet, O van disciple de tristesse, wine dispel the sorrow, which the Danish prince sings to the actors who will provide entertainment. In the Broadway segment, Esther Brooks sang Freddie's song from My Fair Lady, On the Street Where You Live. He could use some of Green's physicality and move about a bit more, not to mention coming on stage already in character. He scraped the bottom of his range in empty chairs and empty tables from Les Mis. However, he was very good in duets with Nassif, an aria from The Barber of Seville and My Heart Will Go On from the film Titanic. Both were properly passionate and mutually supportive, and his final song, Over the Rainbow, had everything you could want. LOV general and artistic director, the enthusiastic Joe Walsh, provided the afternoon's piano accompaniment, interacting with the singers, and as they say, a good time was had by all. From the other side of the footlights, I'm M.D. Ridge.